Good day and welcome to my tutorial on equal division of the octave. Well, let's get right to it. An octave may be divided into two, three, four, or more equal parts in ascending, descending, and even random order. Let's look at the two-way split. Here I have a C octave, so the exact halfway point between these two C's is three whole tones away, either up or down. I'll go up this time. Whole tone, whole tone, whole tone takes me to F sharp G flat. If I were continuing from there, a whole tone, whole tone, whole tone takes me to the next C. Now those of you who have seen my tutorial on tritones will realize that the equal division of the octave into two parts is made up of two separate tritones. An augmented fourth, diminished fifth to my F sharp G flat, and the same thing over here. Because of the mathematical consideration of equal division of the octave, it is not that difficult to move from one segment into another. For example, the scale of C has no sharps or flats. F sharp, six sharps, G flat, six flats. Couldn't be further away from the key of C, literally on the other side of the cycle of force, but I can move quite easily from the key of C directly into a new key of F sharp, G flat. Let's give that a listen. I'm going to establish the key of C by using a 2, 5, 1, so my D minor 7 to my G7 and into my tonic chord. Now I'll start my move into F sharp or G flat. C by using the technique of equal division of the octave. Equal division of the octave doesn't necessarily push you into a different key. I mean, certainly it can, but more often not, it just stays in the same key. Let me give you another example. If I have a 2 5 1 in the key of C, again D minor 7 to my 5, that's my tritone, which pushes me into the 1. I could also use a combination of the 5 and the flat 2. Again, the distance of a tritone, three whole tones down in this case, although I would probably more than likely leap up to a down note. I'll do one bar of a D minor seven, and then I'll split it between the equal division of the G to the D flat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Leap of a tritone, three whole tones, Resolve. Now the song One, which comes from that great musical chorus line by Marvin Hamlish, is a great example. He plays the song in E flat for two bars, then he goes into A, a leap of a tritone, the distance of three whole tones, for another two bars, and then he goes right back to the one chord. But first, let's take a look at the music. Here is the opening few bars of one. The first two bars are in E flat, and then we go down three whole tones, the distance of a tritone to A for two bars, and then we return back to the original key, another tritone back up to E flat again. Marvin Hamlish starts off with a four bar intro, something like, um, A one chord goes to a two chord, then a walk up from a five chord, and he does that twice, and then the song starts. Let's hear what that sounds like. So as I mentioned the introduction, I actually kept to think of the introduction, it's not four bars, it's actually eight bars. Let's see, it goes something like one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and two chord, one, two, and three, four, five, two. So when he gets into the actual song, two bars in E flat, two bars in A, returns back to the original key E flat and stays there. Sounds like this.
let's take a look at the three-way split of the octave. It's made up of three segments of two whole tones. So a C to an E is two whole tones, a major third, an E to a G sharp, two whole tones, a major third, E flat to C, two whole tones, another major third. In other words, it outlines the augmented chord. Equal division of the octave in three parts. Here in my example is a three-way split of the octave. I might suggest that you freeze frame and jot down the music so you can play these examples. Far better if you play them than just watch me play them. In this case, I use the three-way split, the equal division of the octave, to enhance the ending of a given song. Let's say, obviously, I'm in the key of C, so I'm coming in on my, my finishing sequence with a subdominant two chord, going to a dominant five chord, and ending up on the tonic one chord. And then I drop down two whole tones, a major third to my A flat chord, another two whole tones, a major third down to my E, and the same thing back down to my C chord, creating a three-way equal split of the octave. I suppose I could try to relate these chords to the key of C. In other words, I might have suggested that this chord could be considered a flat six chord. This could be an alt three chord. E minor seven being the three chord, E seven being an alternative chord. But that's not really true at all. It's actually a three-way split of the octave. These guys have absolutely nothing to do with the key of C. Let's give this example a listen. I've written a two, five, one to establish the key of C, so... A flat, E, and back to my tonic chord, 1, C. As I've already mentioned, the equal division does not have to be produced in any particular order. For example, if I were to reverse these two chords, in other words, bring the E7 over here and bring the A flat major 7 over here, and then of course change the melody to work with the harmony, it will still work out just fine. So the first two bars are the same, two, five, one. Down to E, now A flat, and back to my tonic one chord, C. Makes no difference, A flat or E flat, completely interchangeable. In this example, the three-way split of the octave, three things are different from my last example. The first, of course, is I'm in a different key. So in the key of F, the equal division of the octave will be this, again outlining the F augmented chord. By the way, it makes no difference if the chord is major or minor or what extension you put on it simply because it goes by the actual notes that make up the equal division. In other words, I could do an F chord here, do my division instead of a major chord, make that a minor, and same thing here, major or minor, and we return back to the original key, in this case F major. Here is my elaboration of the ending. Secondly, the equal division is ascending rather than descending. The F going up a major third, two whole tones to the A, up to the D flat major seven, and on up to the F, so going the opposite direction. And thirdly, this time I've kept the melody strictly diatonic to the original key. It does help hold the music together even though I'm slipping outside of the realm of the key. A little more care obviously has to be done in order to make these notes work with chords that are not actually meant for the particular key, but You'll notice there are no accidentals here. All these notes are true to the key of F. If you recall, I used accidentals here and here in my melody 
to fit the chords that are normally found in the key of C. So one last look at this example before I play it. 2 going to 5 to the 1 and my equal division of the octave in an ascending manner. Alright, let's look at a four-way split of the octave. It's based on minor thirds. C to an E flat is a minor third, E flat to a G flat minor third, F sharp to an A minor third, and an A to a C minor third. In other words, it outlines the notes of a diminished seven chord. I'm going to show you a little example. And I'm in the key of G. So these are the notes of my equal division into four quarters. So a G to a B flat to a D flat to an E and back to the G. Let's just take a look at the music. So here we have a four-way split of the octave by minor thirds. So we ascend here, we've got in the key of G, we go up a tone and a half minor third to E flat, a tone and a half minor third to D flat, tone and a half to E, and a tone and a half to G. So an equal division of the octave in a four-way split. Let's give that a listen to. A, a six-way split. Basically, your whole tone scale. Whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone. Let's look at my example of that. Here we have a six-way split based on the whole tone scale. We are descending. The C drops the whole tone to B flat, drops the whole tone to A flat, drops the whole tone to G flat, so on and so forth until we arrive back in C. Notice that in the beginning of this sequence, there are no accidentals, but as we get further away from the key of C in these chords here, accidentals appear in the music in order to work with the harmony, and then they pull back near the end because we're arriving back into the key of C. Let's give this a look and a listen and see how it goes. It is not necessary to actually go from one end to the other. The fact that you start a sequence doesn't mean that you have to complete it. In other words, I could bail out of here if I wanted to do a key change. For example, I'm in the key of C. If I wanted to move to the key of D, only a whole tone away, I could still go through the sequence. But when I get over here, I could turn this in instead of an E9, I could turn it into an E minor which would give me a subdominant, put in a dominant chord here, an A7, and it would take me very nicely into the key of D major. In my last example, a six-way split, doing the same thing as I did before, dropping by whole tones through the equal division in a six-way split. Notice, in this case, I have not used any accidentals in the music. So here we go with our diatonic approach. Strictly notes, in this case out of the scale of C, with all these different chord changes of equal division through the whole tones. enjoyed a little tutorial on equal division of the octave. 
It's a fun thing to play around with, get you all around the keyboard, and makes your music a little more interesting. Take care. Bye for now.